Visa requirements for Philippine citizens are administrative entry restrictions imposed on citizens of the Philippines by the authorities of other territories. As of 10 July 2018, Philippine citizens had visa-free or visa-on-arrival access to 66 countries and territories, ranking the Philippine passport 72nd in terms of travel freedom, tied with a passport from Tunisia, according to the Henley Passport Index. Visa requirements map Visa requirements UN member and observer countries Certain countries allow Filipino citizens to enter without a visa if they are in a possession of a valid visa or resident permit for Canada, Ireland, the Schengen Area, the United States or the United Kingdom. Territories and disputed areas Visa requirements for Filipino citizens for entry to various territories, disputed areas, partially recognized countries and restricted zones. APEC Business Travel Card Holders of an APEC Business Travel Card ABTC, traveling on business do not require a visa to the following countries. 1 up to 90 days, 2 up to 60 days the card must be used in conjunction with a passport and has the following advantages for the holder. No need to apply for a visa or entry permit to APEC countries, as the card is treated as such, except by Canada and United States. May undertake legitimate business in participating economies. Expedited border crossing in all member economies, including transitional members. Expedited scheduling of a visa interview, United States. Non-visa restrictions. Many countries have entry restrictions on foreigners that go beyond the common requirement of having either a valid visa or a visa exemption. Such restrictions may be health-related or impose additional documentation requirements on certain classes of people for diplomatic or political purposes. Passport validity length In the absence of specific bilateral agreements, countries requiring passports to be valid at least six months on arrival include Afghanistan, Algeria, Anguilla, Bahrain, Bhutan, Botswana, British Virgin Islands, Brunei, Cambodia, Cameroon, Cape Verde, Cayman Islands, Central African Republic, Chad, Comoros, Costa Rica, Côte d'Ivoire, Curaçao, Ecuador, Egypt, El Salvador, Equatorial Guinea, Fiji, Gabon, Guinea-Bissau, Guyana, Haiti, Indonesia, Iran, Iraq, Israel, Jordan, Kenya, Kiribati, Kuwait, Laos, Madagascar, Malaysia, Maldives, Marshall Islands, Mongolia, Myanmar, Namibia, Nepal, Nicaragua, Nigeria, Oman, Palau, Papua New Guinea, Philippines, Rwanda, Samoa, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, Solomon Islands, Somalia, Sri Lanka, Sudan, Suriname, Tanzania, Thailand, Timor Leste, Tokelau, Tonga, Tuvalu, Uganda, United Arab Emirates, Emirates, Vanuatu, Venezuela and Vietnam, Turkey requires passports to be valid for at least 150 days upon entry. Countries requiring passports valid for at least four months on arrival include Micronesia and Zambia. Countries requiring passports valid for at least three months beyond the period of intended stay include European Union countries except the Republic of Ireland and the United Kingdom, Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway and Switzerland and always accepting EU, EEA, Swiss nationals, Azerbaijan, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Nauru, Moldova, New Zealand and three months validity on arrival in Albania, Honduras, Macedonia, Panama, Qatar and Senegal. Bermuda requires passports to be valid for at least 45 days upon entry. Countries that require a passport validity of at least one month beyond the period of intended stay include Eritrea, Hong Kong, Lebanon, Macau and South Africa. Other countries require either a passport valid on arrival or a passport valid throughout the period of the intended stay. Some countries have bilateral agreements with other countries to shorten the period of passport validity required for each other's citizens or even accept passports that have already expired, but not been cancelled. 
Blank passport pages Many countries require a minimum number of blank pages in the passport being presented, generally one or two pages. Endorsement pages, which often appear after the visa pages, are not counted as being available. Vaccination Many African countries, including Angola, Benin, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Republic of the Congo, Côte d'Ivoire, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Ghana, Guinea, Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Rwanda, Sao Tome and Principe, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Uganda, and Zambia require all incoming passengers to have a current international certificate of vaccination. Some other countries require vaccination only if the passenger is coming from an infected area or has recently visited one. Israeli stamps Kuwait, Lebanon, Libya, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Syria and Yemen do not allow entry to people with passport stamps from Israel or whose passports have either a used or an unused Israeli visa, or where there is evidence of previous travel to Israel such as entry or exit stamps from neighboring border posts in transit countries such as Jordan and Egypt. To circumvent this Arab League boycott of Israel, the Israeli immigration services have now mostly ceased to stamp foreign nationals' passports on either entry to or exit from Israel. Since 15 January 2013, Israel no longer stamps foreign passports at Ben Gurion Airport, giving passengers a card instead that reads. Since January 2013 a pilot scheme has been introduced whereby visitors are given an entry card instead of an entry stamp on arrival. You should keep this card with your passport until you leave. This is evidence of your legal entry into Israel and may be required, particularly at any crossing points into the occupied Palestinian territories. Passports are still, as of the 22nd of June 2017, stamped at Erez when traveling into and out of Gaza. Also, passports are still stamped, as of the 22nd of June 2017, at the Jordan Valley, Sheikh Hussein and Yitzhak Rabin, Arava land borders with Jordan. Iran refuses admission to holders of passports containing an Israeli visa or stamp that is less than 12 months old. Armenian ethnicity Due to a state of war existing between Armenia and Azerbaijan, the government of Azerbaijan not only bans entry of citizens from Armenia, but also all citizens and nationals of any other country who are of Armenian descent, to the Republic of Azerbaijan, although there have been exceptions, notably for Armenia's participation at the 2015 European Games held in Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan also strictly bans any visit by foreign citizens to the separatist region of Nagorno-Karabakh, the de facto independent Republic of Artsakh, its surrounding territories and the Azerbaijani exclaves of Kharki, Yuxari Skipara, Bargzudarli and Sofulu which are de jure part of Azerbaijan but under control of Armenia, without the prior consent of the government of Azerbaijan. Foreign citizens who enter these occupied territories will be permanently banned from entering the Republic of Azerbaijan and will be included in their list of personae non grati. As of April 2018 the list contains 710 persons. Upon request, the authorities of the largely unrecognized Republic of Artsakh may attach their visa and or stamps to a separate piece of paper in order to avoid detection of travel to their country. Criminal record Some countries for example, Australia, Canada, Fiji, New Zealand and the United States, routinely deny entry to non-citizens who have a criminal record. Persona non grata The government of a country can declare a diplomat persona non grata, banning their entry into that country. In non-diplomatic use, the authorities of a country may also declare a foreigner persona non grata permanently or temporarily, usually because of unlawful activity. Attempts to enter the Gaza Strip by sea may attract a 10-year ban on entering Israel. Fingerprinting Several countries mandate that all travelers, or all foreign travelers, be fingerprinted on arrival and will refuse admission to or even arrest those travelers that refuse to comply. 
In some countries, such as the United States, this may apply even to transit passengers who merely wish to quickly change planes rather than go landside. Fingerprinting countries include Afghanistan, Argentina, Brunei, Cambodia, China when entering through Shenzhen Airport, Ethiopia, Ghana, India, Japan, Malaysia upon entry and departure, Paraguay, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Korea, and Taiwan. Additionally, the United Arab Emirates conducts iris scanning on visitors who need to apply for a visa. See also Visa policy of the Philippines Philippine passport References and notes References Notes, notes.